Hey fam, it's your girl, Miss Diva Truck, and I'm coming to you today with another video. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna give it just a minute until everybody is able to come in. We're going to talk about, um, this video is gonna be uh, about uh, new brokers, new agents, um, new carriers, um, anything like that, okay? So we're gonna talk a little bit about the business side of logistics and how to run your business and make sure that you're in the uh, competitive advantage in running your business. So how are you guys doing tonight? Uh, just got finished with a uh, broker agent training, broker agent training, freight agent training. Okay. Hey, Dominique. Um, just, uh, got finished with that training. That training is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It goes on for four weeks. Okay. Uh, during that time, uh, the freight agents or the people that take my course, um, they have, they are learning about, uh, finding shippers. They're learning about pricing their loads. Uh, they're learning about, uh, how to, uh find a carriers uh they're learning about how to uh post the load how to move a load and all that kind of stuff okay so it's a lot so i think i got about 12 people in the class um and tonight the first night what we talked about was we basically talked about um we basically talked about uh how to find shippers okay and right now i'm talking to them about uh what's going on right now like what's in front of you you know we're getting ready for the spring season i want them to start looking at farms i want them to start looking at strawberries i want them to start looking at uh pumpkin patches tomatoes anything that is produce that is getting ready to um that is getting ready to uh take effect and 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 uh, be active okay plants uh flowers all that kind of stuff okay so that was the first night so every time they find a shipper and they want to talk to that shipper or whatever they tour they uh homework on monday was to write down um uh, at least 10 to 15 shippers okay and then uh, i need them to know about the shipper their phone number contact information things like that okay so today what we went over tonight what we went over was uh pricing okay how to price your freight what to give your hey corey uh hey freddie hey cedric hey lordis um what to uh give your shipper your customer as a rate when you're trying to uh uh i did not know class started trying to get in touch and every time call i apologize i had dental surgery last week and i have been out of it and i'm not as young as i used to please forgive me um the people told me i was gonna you know look like cardi b and uh gucci main uh after i had my dental surgery but they didn't tell you all the stuff that went involved in it and 24 hours later i was laid up on uh medication and all that kind of stuff so i have been out of pocket for a minute okay um and i i do apologize because now the class has started and i am uh very dedicated to uh these agents who have uh paid their money for this training okay so three nights a week five or seven o'clock is where we uh meet okay Corey, you need to text me your uh uh phone number um uh what you had the implants yeah i had the uh the cadillac version okay so when i went into the doctor's office i went into aspen dental clinic and they was telling me, you know, I can, you know, have this million dollar smile since I'm going to be in front of people and I'm going to be talking and I may be on, you know, this, whatever, or that was whatever you want your, uh, you want your smile to be good. Right. So I'm like, I go in there the people tell me it's going to be about, uh, you know, I want the Cardi B thing. I want the Cardi B special. 
So insurance doesn't cover that. These folks say you're going to look wonderful. Uh, oh, my God, your teeth are going to be shining. Um, like, I don't know what, you know, you're just going to be smiling from ear to ear and all this kind of stuff. So I was just feeding into the hype and everything. And they was talking about, OK, at the end of the day, it's going to be like seventeen thousand dollars. Right. And I'm like, man, that's a lot of money. And it was like, well, you can finance it. You know, we can get you approved. You can make these monthly payments of three hundred dollars a month for the next three to five years. And I'm like, you know, y'all have absolutely lost your mind. There is not any way in the world that I would be financing, uh, you know, my dental work. OK, that's a car payment. What are you talking about? Right. So and the thing is how they get you is um, how they get you is uh, they don't tell you the price. They tell you to come on in. Everything free. Everything free. We ain't going to charge you nothing for your uh, your uh, consultation and all that kind of stuff. I get in there. Man, I ain't even sit down in the chair. Five minutes. Them folks had me back there. They was running game. They, they was running game. So I got up in the finance office and the man said the thing costs like $17,000. But, you know, if you pay us cash, we'll take, you know, uh, we'll do it for half of that or whatever. And I was like, man, that's a lot of money. Um, I'm going to have to go to Mexico or somewhere to get this done because I'm not going to be able to afford this kind of stuff. Right. So he was like, well, you know, right now, since we're in a pandemic and everything, and, you know, we're we going we, 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 we to make it work. We're going to make it work. How much do you have? Girl, when they talk about how much do you have, okay, um, uh, if you cash is king, if whenever you got cash, okay, cash, you go in there with some cash. If you go in there with financing and all that kind of stuff, they're going to hit you with the whole 17000 okay? But if you tell them this is all I got, I've been saving for a long time in my savings account, this is it. I ain't got no more. I could pay half up front. I could do this. I could do that. And, um, and uh, and uh, or I'm gonna have to go to the uh, out the United States. I'm gonna have to go to the uh, Mexico. I'm gonna have to do something like that. So they ain't trying to hear you going to Mexico, okay? So the man said, "Look, I do you a favor. Hey, we're gonna give you the same Cadillac smile. You're gonna be walking around like Gucci Mane. You're gonna be walking around like Cardi B. And we're gonna do everything for eight thousand dollars." I say, "Woo, okay." No problem. We're gonna not. We're gonna this, that, and other. So you know, when they get cash, it, it seems like they bump everybody else out to the side. Cause I went in on Wednesday, and they done scheduled surgery on Monday. Okay, they didn't even give me a week to think about it. None of that kind of stuff. Went in Wednesday. Surgery is Monday at eight o'clock. Okay, they done did all the implants, the molding, everything that they need to do. Okay. The, the, the charge went through. They done hit the credit card, whatever the case may be. Tamara, I need you here at eight o'clock. You're going to see the doctor. OK, so then that's when the okie doke come in. OK, you get there. They're going to tell you, look, we gave you the price without the anesthesia. Right. But since you see you need so much work and everything gone, you gonna need some anesthesia. So that's going that's another thousand. You got it now. Or we need to make some arrangements on that. I'm like, okay, I ain't finna stay up through that. So they knock me out, I come out, child. What they don't tell you is that your mouth, with the amount of work you get done, your mouth needs some healing time, okay? So you're not going to walk out. You're not going to go in and walk out smiling, okay? You got to heal. You got stitches and sutures and all that kind of stuff so everything has to uh uh everything has to uh heal up okay so i'm in the healing price process okay so uh it's coming okay be prepared for it y'all gonna get your money worth okay but right now i got a lot of work to do and i got a lot of talking to do and uh we just in the process okay so when you saw carly b you may have saw her before and you saw her four months after but she didn't take you through when she was healing up and all that kind of stuff okay hey miss newsom but that's what i'm going through all right so they say it's pain and whatever okay but hey Whatever, whatever floats your boat. If it makes you feel better or whatever the case may be, do what you want to do. But I really didn't think that uh, I'm too old for this. Okay. 
I'm 50 years old. You know, I, I can't be doing these surgeries like I'm 21 and stuff like that. And I got a business I got to worry about. I got folks depending on me and I'm sitting up there at the dentist's office knocked out. OK, um, I pay 18 on oh my. No, girl, these are four. Yeah, four. So he told me 10,000 for the top, 10,000 for the bottom. And I, and somehow we got from 20,000 down to under 10. But then they added in the anesthesia that brought it back up. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. All right. But anyway, that we're going to keep it pushing. All right. Um, uh, uh, is this car? No, I didn't go to Cardi B, Dennis. I said I wanted to look like Cardi B right here in Georgia. I didn't go to Cardi B, Dennis. OK, I went to Griffin, Georgia. Dennis, they said that they can make you look just like Gucci Mane and Cardi B at the same time. OK, they do the same thing. All right. That's who I went to. All right. Um, but uh, other than that, y'all, I'm trying to push through and make it happen. I'm getting my strength back slowly but surely. And I got to continue with my class and uh, we're we going we gonna to keep it moving. OK. Um, let's go over what I wanted to talk about tonight is, uh, trucker tools. If you are a new broker or a freight agent, um, uh, 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 what, what's the name? I went to Aspen, Aspen dental clinic. Okay. They wanted me to give them a shout out. Okay. I told them I had 37,000 subscribers. So they took $8,000 off the bill. Okay. So shout out to Aspen dental uh, clinic, but I'm giving you the real from the time you have your surgery until they put your beautiful million dollar teeth in. Okay. This is in transition. Um, but the next class is going to be in, uh, Aspen. Yeah, they expensive. I should have went to, don't they got affordable, ain't affordable, a little cheaper than Aspen. Aspen is like, man, I'm telling you, but this folk were talking so fast, man, they had my credit card before you knew it. You know what I'm saying? But it's all right. It's all good. It's over with now. We in the healing process. We trying to get back to get back to the money. OK, I got a lot of work to do. Um, um, uh, what I was going to say. Uh, OK, I wanted to talk to you tonight, especially if you're aspiring uh, to be a freight agent, a freight broker, um, if you are your own carrier. Or if you are just a driver right now, you just getting started in the industry, okay? Let me tell you about a company that I love so much, which is Trucker Tools, okay? When you're when you're talking about getting it from the ground up, um, 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 the CEO of Trucker Tools, he got it from the ground up. OK, he started this business, raising capital, uh, coming up with an app. OK, he understands the way the supply chain works. He understands logistics. He's been in the uh, 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 transportation industry for a long period of time. And he started his own app TMS system, which is called Trucker's Tools. Um, he started promoting it at the truck shows. You know, he just would not stop talking about his business. He invested in himself, invested in others, and uh, he is where he is today because of the hard work of what he's done. The CEO is Mr. Prasad. He's one of the nicest people that you could ever meet. OK. And about the company is one thing that I like about uh, Trucker Tools is I only heard about Trucker Tools because as a driver working for my company, um, they uh, they uh, we downloaded. We downloaded this app. OK, I took a load out to Salt Lake City, Utah, and um, 
Um, um, I got a little back that was from Salt Lake City, Utah, back to Missouri. It was a Hershey load that uh, CR England had, and that was my first experience with Trucker Tools. Okay, and the first thing that I that I noticed about it was how easy the platform was. It wasn't like any other tracking device. Okay, it was an app. It was user friendly. It had all your uh information um um keys i know um uh, i know you got what questions do you guys have i apologize ask me the questions now i'm right here in front of y'all the class is 500 dollars. the next class is in march if you want to be on the wait list do miss diva trucker at gmail.com send me your first and last name and your phone number as soon as i have another date for the class i will contact you first so you will be one of the first people that i call so you can go ahead and get in 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 the class okay i do these videos because i tell you what I teach in the class, okay? I tell you what you're gonna learn, what you're gonna be doing, uh, your commission. So any question that you have about uh, freight agent, freight broken, that's why I come on here every other day so I can answer those questions for you guys because it's hard for me to answer the same questions over and over and over and over again, okay? Um, but you could ask me right here and I'm more than happy to answer that question for you. Okay. Same thing, same concept. Um, but anyway, uh, I got a load that had the trucker tool app, right? And I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Okay. And when I, when, whenever I find out something new or something that helps drivers, uh, to make it really easy for us, Okay, I, I usually promote that, okay? Whether they're paying me or not, or whatever the case may be, this is something that I fell in love with, okay? The reason why it didn't have to do with so much trucker tools at the time, it just made my job a lot easier, okay? Whenever I got the low information, guys, it came on here, it came from uh, England uh, Logistics, it came from England Logistics. It had the load number. It had the pickup location. It had the destination. Everything that I needed for as a driver was right here. I did not have to look at my Qualcomm. I did not have to write down all this information. Everything, when I got into the shipper, I said my pickup number is da 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 da. Uh, the folks said what it was. Uh, I had what I was picking up when it was going to be delivered and that what sparked everything for me okay because it was something out there that i could use i did not have to continue to download all these different apps that you didn't know what it did some of it just tracked you some of it just do you know you never got anything but a link and you clicked on the link and and boom there it was okay these people knew when I picked up the load, they knew uh, uh, where I was with the load. I could message uh, whoever I needed to message uh, about the load, okay? I can message whoever I need to message about the load, get information. I can let them know my ETA. I can also let the dispatcher uh, know that uh i could also let the dispatcher know that i delivered the load they knew that um that the load was delivered right okay so not only that you can scan your bills in here and you can also get paid right so that was just amazing for me as a driver okay so that's when i fell in love with trucker tools you got your routes um uh your your routes on here whatever the case may be another amazing thing that trucker tool does is that whenever you are um delivering a load to a location for example if i picked up a load and i need a load out of griffin georgia okay wherever i go to deliver my load it is going to give me automatically another load when i get there 
okay? It's going to tell me how many loads that are available for me. Hold on one second. Let me get a towel. Oh, good Lord. It's hot in here, Rick. Okay, it's gonna let me know. It's gonna, uh, drivers do not have to pay any money for tracker tools, okay? It's free, all right? The only people that pay for, to use truckers tools is brokers, um, carriers, uh, not carriers, brokers, yeah, carriers that got multiple trucks because on the other side, trucker tools is also a uh, for brokers. Uh, you use it for load tracking. Uh, it's a TMS system. Um, also, it does the freight matching for you. So, for example, if I ran a load for CR England, right, and I was going to Griffin, Georgia. It's going to automatically pull up the loads that's available for me in Griffin, Georgia, with the current uh, uh, brokers or carriers, uh, like in brokers, okay, that's in that area that have available loads. I don't have to do another carrier pack. Uh, all your information is already in there when you set it up. Your MC number. Uh, you know, what you like to run, your dispatcher, all that kind of stuff is already set up in there. So all I got to do is go to Griffin. Uh, there's a load picking up in Griffin, Georgia that picks up on the, uh, let's see. I cannot click on this. Okay, there's a load that picks up in uh, McDonald, Georgia. It shows you the route. It shows you uh, it's going to Glenville, Georgia, and it tells you. Oh, my goodness. It tells you who has that load. Okay, so you don't have to go to four or five different load boards to find out. Uh, where your next load is, you can go ahead and plan yourself, give Axel Logistics a call and say, I want this load picking up in Glenville. I show and show interest in that load. And they will probably give you a call and see if you're interested in taking that load, negotiate the rate for you. And um, you're automatically set up in the system to run their loads as well. They, they will have you approved. Okay. Um, you can also pick in here uh the brokers that you want to work with uh the brokers you do not you know want to work with they also have uh, the get paid now feature where uh you can just submit your information and get paid you also can book it now so they will put their prices on here and you can go ahead and book the load without even talking to anybody okay so when they got it it's both it's, you can use it on Android and you can use it on your iPhone, okay? So it's going to tell you your way stations, uh, parking av availability. So these are all the tools that we need as a driver, okay? But what it does for you as a broker is a whole different revenue, right? Because at the end of the day, we're trying to optimize on... Um, uh, making sure that we uh, uh, get our loads moved, uh, making sure that we uh, know where our carriers are. Uh, we want to be in touch with everything, right? Um, so it will give us a better relationship with our customers when they know where they load is. Okay. So that's what trucker tool provides. They can tell you how many trucks are in a certain area. They can tell you, uh, the lanes, they can tell you, um, you know, this is the data that they keep that helps and benefits on the size of shippers, brokers, all that kind of stuff to maximize uh, and make it more cost effective in the supply chain, okay? And it's about making sure that you know where your drivers are, you know if they're out of route, 
And the thing is with them teaming up with McLeod, okay? So when you get smaller uh, companies teaming up with bigger companies and they're partnershiping with these companies, you know that there's something there because they have captured, they did the work and captured all of this data before they got all these brokers and uh, uh, the C C C R England logistics and the uh, uh, Snyder logistics and all these different big broker companies. Okay, um, back there, back then in the day, they didn't have all that. Okay, they focus on building up and having as many um, carriers and drivers to download their app because they was able to track all of where everybody is. So if they're able to get over a million downloads just from drivers because the drivers is important because they make it easy for them, but they're not charging no drivers for no low board rates, right? They're not charging you $30, $40 a month just to use their uh, app. Okay, because it's not a low board, it's a tracking system, it's a TMS system. Okay, that doesn't benefit, uh, that benefits the brokers and the shippers or the customers or anybody that wants to track the data of how the trucks are moving, where the trucks are at, all that kind of stuff. Now, is that helpful? Is that uh, something that, um, um, large companies want to pay for? Of course it is. That's why they have so many partners, okay? Everybody's jumping on board. Now, when you go from, and they want to be able to integrate with Trucker Tools because Trucker Tools has done it so seamlessly, and I don't know how easy it was, but they have over a million downloads, okay? And that is by the hard work of, the CEO constantly talking about this app, okay? Not focusing on charging uh, drivers or whatever, you know, to use the app or to find loads or whatever. No, find all the loads you want to because what we're going to do is we're going to build up on a broker side and once they join us, they'll start paying, you know, for all this information. And guess what, guys? You're going to run these broker loads. Why? Because you don't have to go outside the app. You ain't got to go and pay that. $39.95. You ain't got to go pay ITS $45 a month. You ain't got to go pay low board one, two, three. You ain't got to do none of that. All this is going to keep you running right in their network. Okay. Is that valuable? Yes, that is very valuable. Okay. So it was a smart way to build the business and how they focus on it. Now, they don't have to work as hard to partner with people because probably uh, people want to come partner with them, okay? And whenever you get McLeod as one of the largest trucker software uh, TMS systems out there, period, you know, this is what the big boys use, okay? Um, LTI uses uh, uh, McLeod. OK, McLeod can do your payroll. McLeod can do your tracking. McLeod could, uh, you know, all the dispatchers use it. Uh, McLeod can do everything about your driver, uh, everything about your load. It can help you put together bids to bid on lanes. Um, it can it can do amazing things if you are a carrier, a broker, a shipper or whatever. So with them partnering with um, Trucker Tools, I'm just curious how is it works as far as the fees. One of the things that we got to be cautious of as new brokers are is um, costs, okay? Um, because it may be very affordable to the CR England or the, um, um, I can't go over every 
uh, broker that they have, Dart. I know Dart maybe joined on with them. Uh, Snyder, y'all, Snyder got thousands of loads, okay? So these companies have thousands of loads, okay? So it may be cost effective for them, but we also have to find a way for you as a new broker coming in the industry that it can be as cost effective for you too. So right now, um, I don't think that they have like a different price rate for, you know, if you got, you know, so many loads you post or whatever the case may be. My biggest problem, guys, and I'll be honest to tell you, I don't have the loads like Snyder. I don't have the loads like uh, uh, CR. I don't have the loads like JB. You know, they have thousands, thousands of customers, thousands of loads, contract loads, all that kind of stuff. They're going to use every possible tool that they possibly can to not only uh, let their drivers run the loads, but also to for everybody else to run them too, okay? Because they got to move the freight, right? Um, as a new broker, I struggle with a lot of different um, software programs that say they do these different things, but the cost is so much that it doesn't allow you to build, right? And that's what we need. We got to watch our costs. If you're a new broker, if you're a new agent or whatever the case may be, it's so easy to get swooped up and all these different um, TMS systems and all these different uh, load boards uh, as a broker uh, on a DAT load board, ITS, you're going to pay over a hundred dollars for each one of those load boards as a broker. Okay. Um, and uh, you're putting the same information on different uh, on a, on different load boards, but you know, and your load may not move. Okay, so you have to look at these different costs. Okay, um, and you got to make uh, real uh, cost effective uh, decisions. Not saying that you won't be able to get there, right? It just takes time. Okay, so you know. A lot of times, you know, I'm always concerned when people have these software packages or what they can do for brokers and things like that, but they don't have a price with it. They need to call you and talk to you before they tell you the cost. OK, so when they need to call you, schedule an appointment and some time and whatever the case may be before they even tell you how much it costs. I'm like, OK, maybe this is a little bit out of my league right now. OK, and it's OK. OK, we don't have to ball right out the gate. OK, but it's something that we always need to be looking for, especially when we start to uh, have multiple agents multiple dispatchers. The thing with Brock Logistics is number one, we will be a dispatching service. We will be a carrier. We will be a, um, oh my God. we will be a dispatching service. We will be a carrier. We will be a, um, we, uh, a dispatching service, a carrier, a, a brokerage. We're already a brokerage. Um, we will have agents uh, working under uh, Brock Logistics. So it's going to be uh, one on. It's going to be one on umbrella. OK, so you ain't going to have to go nowhere. You're not going to have to go and find you a dispatch person to dispatch you because we're going to take care of that. You're not going to have to worry about your payroll or whatever the case may be. We're going to make sure you get paid. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll be on live. I'm not available. Uh, okay. So, um, let me show you some of the partners that uh, Trucker Tool partners with. Let's go. ASINS TMS. Uh, some of you all may be familiar with ASINS. Um, they, they, they okay. I mean, a little busy. I tried them out. Uh, 
Uh, some of the things that I don't like about Ascends is uh, everything don't interact like it says it interacts, okay? Uh, I don't like that. Uh, some of the things, a lot of things I don't uh, use. Um, but it says run smarter, your trucking logistics operation to run a smarter, more effective business. Okay. Some people like it. Some people don't. Um, Broker Pro, I don't know too much about this software, but what it does is what they, they do is they interact with these uh, um, 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 companies. Okay. Um, and uh, the thing that I don't like about like that, I don't have a problem with, okay? That is the largest, whatever the case may be. I really feel like they try to charge for every little thing, you know, nickel and dime here, there, and there, everything. You know, they want to charge for a price tool. They want to charge for this. They want to charge for that. Hey, I'm on live. I'll call you right back. Bye. Okay. Um, they want to charge for this, that, and the third. I uh, really don't have an issue with it. It serves its purpose. Internet truck stop, I kind of had an issue with because they try to put you on the contract. Um, I, I, I don't like uh, contracts, okay? Because, um, you know, if you are a new brokerage starting up or whatever the case may be, um, you know, you got to watch your costs. And if it's not working for you, it's not working for you. You may come back and revisit it at a later time, but it may not be something that's cost effective to you. So I don't like people that try to put you in contracts. And that's what ITS did was like, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but you're going to have to pay a hundred dollars a month for the next year. And I'm like, you out your mind. Cause I know darn well, uh, Tim Brock ain't signed no contract for no hundred dollars a month for no 12 months. Go get the recording, get whoever you need to get, but that didn't happen. Show me the paperwork. Uh, Broker Pro, uh, EKA, whoever they are, I'm not familiar with them. Um, uh, freight, J, uh, freight Management, Low Plus, I have heard of Low Plus, okay. Um, High Jump TMS, Met Cloud, the biggest, the baddest, okay. When it comes to EDI, uh, integrating, when it comes to tracking your freight, when it comes to uh, tracking uh, your drivers, fleet management, dispatchers, payroll, all that kind of stuff. You can't go wrong with McCloud, okay? Um, but you got to have some McCloud money. Um, M M Mercury Gate, not familiar with them. Uh, Port TMS, Strategy Systems, uh, Tailwind. I used to see t Tailwind trailers, okay? TMS built for a small business, small to for, uh, mid -size, size freight uh, businesses, no install costs, no maintenance fee, start your free trial in less than a minute. That's something you may want to look at, okay? Y'all want to look at stuff that is uh, not going to cost you a whole lot of money up front and still give you... Uh, the things that you need, okay? What they involve, uh, let's see, settlement, you, $99, you get driver settlements, text messages, um, uh, all kinds of support, $149, you can get some stuff. Um, EDI, uh, when you're a broker and you're trying to get freight that is uh, those that have over a, uh, a uh, hundred loads. Um, this is stuff that you don't do with a load list. Okay. You are integrated in a system and you are able to bill, uh, that customer directly. Okay. Uh, for $149, you know, they could hook you up with trucker tools. Okay. Smart capacity. All right. So, uh, your homework, uh, brokers, if you're a new broker, um, I'm sorry, your homework, what I need you to do is <coughs> start signing up for some of these seminars, webinars. Okay. 
Uh, go to uh, Trucker Tool. Um, um, the CEO uh, facade, he uh, does uh, webinars all the time. Guys, these webinars are free. Uh, you can go in here and you can ask the CEO. <coughs> You can ask the CEO anything you want. I was on this webinar. Um, you can ask the CEO of McLeod any questions that you may have. Um, you can go to Freight Waves, go in there. You can talk to uh, uh, the CEO of Freight Waves when they're doing their seminars and stuff like that. Go in here and learn, understand, what these things can do for you and your business. The more knowledge that you have about these different tools that can help you be more cost effective in uh, the way you run your business, it's very important that you could do that. So set aside some time if you're a new broker a carrier, especially if you plan on getting uh, multiple trucks, more than one, two, three trucks. If you plan on having a fleet, 10 trucks or leasing trucks uh, on to you, uh, make sure that uh, you um, get you good software that can make it really easy for you to know where your trucks are, pay your drivers, all that kind of stuff, bill your customers, and uh, you have a seamless, you know, um, transition and run your business very effectively. Okay. Um, another thing is one tip for you guys. Jared says, Eva, do you still do recruiting, driver recruiting? Yes. Um, I actually have people that uh, recruit for me, okay? So um, I teach them how to recruit and I get a percentage, they get a percentage off of the commission, okay? So just like I have uh, freight agents where I teach them how to move freight, I also have sub recruiters that I teach them how to um, um, put drivers in the seats. OK, and I help new um, uh, people that just got their trucks and uh, trailers and all that kind of stuff to get their authorities. All right. We are a one stop shop. OK, who can go pick up my truck Monday? I ain't going. I'm tired. I don't feel good. OK, I need somebody to go. They done took out the transition. Trans, uh, the transmission, the transitors, uh, you know, the tracking device. They done took off the logos. They done took off the. They done took the EIDL, the IED. They all out the system. So they done took everything off my truck. My truck is ready to be picked up, um, and bring it on home to mama. Okay, so we could go ahead and get this uh, carrier thing started. Uh, we're going to be leasing on carriers, so all you have to do is have your truck. I'm trying to put together some kind of down payment assistance program and do a lease purchase, just like the mega companies do lease purchases. Um, and uh, so you'll be able to do that. Uh, and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It ain't just, it's just ain't going to be real easy to do. It's going to be people that have put the work in and um, they just need an opportunity. They don't have no tickets. They don't have no uh, violations. They ain't running illegal. They doing everything that they need to do um, and they run, okay? And ain't gonna be no lazy folks. If you wanna be lazy, go get your own authority and you can be as lazy as you want to. Um, but it's about paying your truck off in three years, uh, making your money and let's work. We gotta work, we getting it out the mud. Ain't nobody gonna give us nothing. OK, uh, so I got to work on that. We got to come up with an insurance plan of who we're going to go to for insurance. And uh, Lord and God, oh, 
child. I can't even wait. Uh, one thing I'm looking at progressive because progressive is not going to put no limitations on me. They're going to let me put on as many carriers as I want to, um, but they're going to be high. They're going to be high. Okay. I know it, it, it's going to be, it's, uh, well, that's one of them, but I, I got to get my foot in the door. You know, I, I want a uh, great Western. I want, I want somebody that is, um, uh, is, is, is worth a grain of salt. Also, uh, I'm gonna need to have a over, I need about a million, $2 million, uh, worth of coverage because of the freight that I want to run. And, um, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to run with the big folks, you got to have insurance like the big folks. Okay. I can't get old Ida with $750,000, baby. We, we just ain't going to be able to move like that, okay? We're going to have to go on and uh, uh, um, make it happen. But one thing that we can do to make sure that our insurance cost is not going to be uh, uh, astronomical is uh, we're going to have to uh, make sure we stay safe, make sure we on time, make sure that we doing what we supposed to do. So when we come back around and get reevaluated, we can get some of the better companies that may give us a lower uh, rate and uh, better we do the better rate we get. Okay. But ain't nobody going to give us nothing. Ain't that right, Ripley? Oh, look y'all. I'm about to go buy some chickens. Uh, we about to get this farm started back here with some chickens and some cows and some horses and uh, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, uh, and uh, who want to invest in the chicken farm? <laughs> I'm Ripley. Who going to get it? They going to be uh, grass-fed chickens. They going to be ready in six weeks. Okay, Miss Timmer getting a big old deep freeze out there. Your chickens are going to be fresh. Okay, y'all better get in on this. Y'all better get in where you fit in. We about to plant some uh, some tomatoes. We about to plant some, uh, what are we going to plant, Rip? We got to, we about to get some herbs and stuff, get that back there planted. We're going to throw a barbecue so we can get y'all over here to help with uh, the landscape. You know what I'm saying? I just got a quote, child. These quotes are coming in really high. But I know some drivers. I know I can uh, 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 barbecue some chicken and have some beer or something and a, 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 a DJ and we can sit back out there on the pool and we can get us a, a couple of rakes and some shovels and some lawnmowers and some weed eaters and all that kind of stuff. We get this yard together. We're going to get it together. It's going to take teamwork and y'all going to help. I'll be darn if I'm going to be out here spending all this money. Let me get some of that money. With you. Yeah, come on out here. Come on out here. Get you a chicken plate. Real. Get a chicken plate. We're gonna get an early Sunday, Saturday morning. We're gonna get out here, get these leaves up, move these trees, push back some brushes. We're gonna uh, put some mulch out. Y'all know how to put some mulch out. Put some mulch out. We're gonna work together as a team. Show sure is. We're gonna get back here. We're gonna stock the pond with some fish. Y'all gonna go over there and get y'all some fish whenever y'all get ready. We're gonna put some fish out there and then fry that. You know, when y'all get tired and, and um, work yourself to death, get out there and go swim in that pool. And uh, and 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 we're gonna go from there. Barbecue, barbecue and greens. Yeah, come get your barbecue play. Miss Tim is gonna require you to do a little work. We're gonna have to work, okay? We're gonna set up a little be uh, uh, uh what is it, a bed and breakfast, okay? Come stay the weekend, okay? We only got I only got a three-day limit, all right. Friday to Sunday. After Sunday, you got to be gone. Okay, we we don't we don't stay. There ain't no weekend retreat. We I know no no week retreat. This is a three day retreat. Okay, you come in Friday, enjoy yourself, have a good time. On Sunday, check out eleven o'clock. Let's keep it pushing. Go out there and play with the chickens. Uh, go out there and fish. Uh, uh, what else we gonna do, Rip? We gonna go pick you some eggs. Okay, go out there and get you some eggs, fry it, have you a nice, comfortable bed to stay in, you know, for one fifty nine a night. 
Ya iré. What was that, Ripley? Go check it out. Child, I need some pet bull. I'm, I'm gonna give me some rock balls. I ain't finna be playing. Go check. Go, go see what's going on. Go check it out, Rip. Oh, that's a that's a washing machine. Go check. Go go check it out. Go see what's going on. Child, I can't help. I can't wait till they get surveillance out here. Uh, let's see. Help me on how to handle an investor who's buying my truck. Can someone help me? Uh, Nicole wants to know if somebody can help her help me on how to handle an investor who is buying her truck. Message Nicole and see if y'all can uh, help her. Nicole, is your truck an asset or a liability? You, are you selling your truck just to get out of trucking or you don't want to do it no more or what? Is it costing you a lot of money? What's going on with the truck? And when you say an investor, an investor who is buying a truck, how are you going to, he buying the truck, but he's going to invest too? How that work? Ladies, don't 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 let nobody uh run y'all up uh, talk y'all about y'all trucks. Oh, did I see your question? Uh, uh good lord, I don't miss a whole lot of questions. Uh, Jason, need a truck. Jason, I'm so sorry. I I uh, I'm going to get the truck Sunday. I'm going to get the truck. Uh, not Sunday, Monday. Uh, uh, not me personally. Um, I'm gonna fly somebody out there to uh go pick it up. And uh, it will uh, be on this way. I know you've been waiting on me with this truck and these trucks. And every time I get on here, I'm talking about getting these trucks and stuff like that. But I, I, I'm overwhelmed, guys. I am. And then having the surgery and all this kind of stuff, that doesn't put me, um, that doesn't put me um, 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 behind. Uh, Nicole, getting in your truck. What 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 they talking about? They're gonna give you some money to get in your truck. Uh-uh. No, wait, wait a minute. No. Mm-mm. That don't sound right. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Either they're gonna buy it outright cash. Don't let nobody pay you a little bit of money and then talk you up out that truck. I'm coming into the CDL business and want to be an owner operator. I have somebody who is able to buy the truck for them. But they want a return over time. Who then they not a they not an investor, they not a, a purchaser, they are an employee. Okay, if they can't come in the call with uh full cash money on the truck, you don't give them your truck. Okay. Now, if they want to come in and they want to run and they, they want to uh 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 make some money in your truck or whatever the case may be, then that's what you call an employee. OK, ain't nobody investing in no truck if they ain't uh, put no money uh, in the truck. As soon as that truck go down, that investor going to be gone. Um, if you have a truck, uh, either put that truck on with somebody and let him run under somebody else's authority. Or um, if you have your own, uh, get your own authority and let him run under that. But don't, don't be letting folks just run your truck. Cause they will tear up your stuff in a minute and leave you leave your truck on the side of the road and you be out your investment. Talking about people love to slick talk and they love to do it to women. I got somebody else uh, uh, that almost got talked out of her truck, paid for, ain't costing no money. No, 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 ma'am, no, sir. We're not doing that. You want to invest in the truck? You want to buy the truck uh, outright cash? They are not a driver at all. Okay, if they're going to pay you outright cash and you want to sell it to them, fine. But make sure that you are getting the uh, a good, uh, 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 what your truck is worth. Okay, make sure that, uh, and you can call around to dealerships and uh, give them your, uh, your uh, the make and model of the truck. Uh, you can give them the mileage. You can do some research on yourself and just ask them, you know, what would you give me for, you know, for this truck? What is this truck worth? Okay. Just don't sell it for nothing. 
If you just want to get rid of it or whatever the case may be, let them buy it. Make sure you get all your money up front, sign it over to them. Let them go on about their business and make their money. But if they want to come in and run your truck and pay for it while they driving it, no, ma'am. I don't have a truck. I need a truck so I can begin being a owner operator. Okay. Uh, you need a truck. I'm confused. I'm confused, Nicole. Inbox me. Send me your phone number and I can give you a call. Cause I'm a, I'm just, I'm confused. Um, other than that, any other questions for me guys before I would be, uh, before I go to my, go to sleep, they are going to act as a bank for me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Email me, uh, Nicole, Miss Diva Truck at gmail.com. Because I don't want you to uh, get uh, event, taken advantage of. Um, and somebody don't talk you out some stuff. Okay, I, I I be real weary of these partnerships and um uh oh, Marquita Rock. Wow. It's uh it's in March. I don't have a date, but I could sure put you on a waiting list. I don't know what's wrong. I didn't even expect my classes to be like this, but you know, hey, I ain't complaining. M A R K E T T A Ross. Um, inbox me at MissDivaTrucker.com at MissDivaTrucker at gmail.com. Send me your phone number so um, I can uh, call you when the next class is. Guys, in order for me to do a, a next class, I have to be able to put these 12 people uh, to work. They got to be working independently on their own. They got to be able to get, oh, what was that? They got to be able to get a shipper. They got to be able to move a load. And they got to be able to work independently. Okay. There's no need of me teaching another class. Uh, if I didn't, if I ain't got the first, if I ain't got the 12 people I already got working, that don't make sense. Okay. So it depends on them. They have a four week, uh, they have a four week period time to get everything that they need to have. Uh, to uh, start moving loads. And after that four weeks and everybody's done had they one-on-one -on -one with me and everybody's done, we done did our calling. We done did our moving the loads. We done did this, that, the third. And they are okay, independent and starting to uh, take calls, receive calls. Uh, uh, she do not a truck. Um, and, and, and doing all that kind of stuff, then, and then we can move on to another class, but then I don't want to obligate myself too. Cause it, I mean, you know, summer coming up, child, summer coming up, we're going to start having logistics web and, uh, seminars out here on the weekend and we're going to do crash course. Monday through Friday for the week, and we just gonna go at it just hard. Some of y'all gonna be recruiting, some of y'all gonna be dispatching, some of y'all gonna help keep up with the trucks, some of y'all gonna help keep up with whatever. Um, but it, it's it's coming, it's coming along, it's coming along. The thing is just trying to do so much at one time. That's it. Trying to do too much at one time. But I don't know. Corey, you want me to call you right now? You want me to wait till I get off a of live and call you? Uh, and then I got I to gotta get tags and stuff for the trucks. 
I'm overwhelmed. I, I, I'm overwhelmed. And I went around and had this surgery and that uh, knocked me out and, you know, walking around can hardly talk and all this kind of stuff. And I got to call the people back about these trucks. I got to go get my truck. I got to put the carry authority in place. I got to make sure I'm uh, 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 training on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Then I got to do recruiting, making sure these people are going to school and getting their CDLs and finding them jobs. Child, oh, man, it ain't enough time in the day. And then I'm trying to uh, remodel and put some furniture in here and, and make this into something. And I got people coming all different times and it's crazy. I, I can't do it all, Rick. Can I? Huh? They say, God say, it won't put no more on, on you than you can bear. So I'm going to keep going. That's all I know how to do. Other than that, guys, it's been one hour and 36 minutes. I'm already an independent contractor, 16 years. Okay, let's go then. What are we doing then, uh, Mark, Mark, Marquetta? What are we doing? Cardarius. Cardarius in the class. Cardarius. Uh, tell them how you like freight agent tra training. Tell them what you like. Tell them what you don't like. What, what, what's good? What's bad? Go ahead. Talk about me like a dog. <laughs> Kadarius is uh, in the freight agent class. Did you learn uh, within the first two training sessions, Kadera? Did you learn a lot of things that you didn't know on the um, on the agent side uh, uh, that opened your eyes a little bit more um, on the agent side with you being a uh, a driver? Because, honey, when I was talking to y'all tonight, some of y'all mouths just kind of like dropped. <laughs> y'all was like what where the money reside where the money reside where the money reside where the money reside <laughs> but the good thing about it is freight agent okay oh yeah I got you on the list we good to go where the money reside where the money reside what you what you what you learn uh Kadarius let know something Good, bad, indifferent. Tell them, yay to take the class. No, not to take the class. Tell them to say they money. Keep it pushing. Tell them say they money. Get a truck. <laughs> but um, hopefully, uh, you're able to uh, at least uh, know both sides of the business, and you come. Um, and uh, you uh, are more aware of a lot of things and um, and um, you can learn how to work a little bit smarter um, to reach your goals and not as hard. Right. And uh, the information that you learn can do nothing but help you. It can't do nothing but help you. Uh, any other questions for me before I check out? I'm getting ready to cook some red beans and rice. Listen, um, what time is it? It's like nine o'clock. I'm gonna cook some red beans and rice. Take the class, can't go wrong with the information. There you go. Kadarius told you. We only two classes in. We ain't even we ain't even four weeks yet. Don't tell them to take it now. Um, we ain't even got to the hard part. Um, yeah, I had these red beans and rice, the red beans out all day. But I got them soaking in some water. So I think what I'll do is put it in the refrigerator and then cook it tomorrow because it won't take us long to cook. And uh, we had corned beef for dinner. Miss Idella, I'm trying to get back. I can't eat nothing. And then I had to go and try to get me some vitamins or something today because I'm just not getting my energy. Um, um, I went to the uh, GNC store to get me some vitamins because I'm just getting... Um, uh, winded, you know, like I can't catch my breath and I can't, you know, and, and I need to be more active. I'm usually up at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm usually out there in the yard. I'm usually doing a live feed 
and I'm just not having that energy. And I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, me not being able to eat like I want to, you know, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't even eat. I can cook the ribs. I can smell the ribs. I can't eat the ribs. Okay. I can, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of things in that refrigerator that I could eat, but I just, I just can't. And, uh, so I just went to the store today and, uh, got me some, uh, vitamins. Um, 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 keep reaching out, teaching us. Yeah, uh, I must. That's what I'm thinking, Nicole. I think that with me having that surgery, I might have lost uh, some blood and my iron is low. Now, if my iron get too low, I have to get a blood transfusion because the iron pills is not going to bring it up fast enough. Okay, so that's one thing I need to go get checked. Uh, because it doesn't make any sense that I don't want to get up. I don't have the energy. Like, I don't have the energy. And I'm trying to eat a little bit more. I'm trying to um, do everything that I possibly can. Um, I'm drinking, see, I'm drinking like these flavored waters. So that really doesn't do anything for you. I don't think I'm getting the, nutri the nutrition uh, that I need uh, to get my energy back. So, they gave me some, uh, what they gave me? I went to the uh, GNC store today and told them that I, I, I just get short winded and I'm not having any energy in the morning time. And what did they recommend? And he gave me this. Um, he told me to take this. So he gave me this multivitamin and he said that might help. And he also gave me this too, some kind of energy formula. So I'm going to try to do that. Eat some fruits uh, and vegetables. I'm going to go to the farmer's market and get me some fruits so I can make some smoothies. But um, I just can't just do surgery like I used to, you know. Um, and sometimes I, I do things um, without thinking about it. And that's something that I should have never, I, I, sh I should have took more time uh, to think about it before I just went, um, uh, just went and had some surgery, you know, I, I should have thought about it a little bit more. So um, you're getting me through my transition. Okay. Um, it's going to get better. I'm sure. But um, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going through a lot, all right? Uh, maybe some liquid iron. I need something that um, usually when I get down this low or something like that, uh, if I go get it checked, and that's what I might do tomorrow is go get it checked because when I go get it checked, um, I had one doctor call me and said, I need to come right back because I need a, a, a blood transfusion because my iron was so low. So I'm thinking that's uh, what the case is. Uh, but, you know, the things that we do, child, honey, everything ain't for everybody, okay? And uh, I promised to God that I was not getting any more surgery or anything like that. And here I go again. You know, after this, guys, I don't care. If I'm, whatever it is, it is. Um have some info the St. Christopher Fund has provided. Okay, I was supposed to call um um uh Desiree back, but that's the reason why I haven't been answering my phones. Uh it's because I just haven't had any energy. It's not, you know, it's like I'm just trying to get myself back together, but you know, I feel obligated because I had already put off the uh the uh the uh the freight agent class for a week and i know how you know uh you know anxious people are to get ready to get started and uh all that kind of stuff so i had to pull myself together to do that um and like today you know i woke up and uh you know i try to do as much as i can around the house and uh i went out today because i gotta go get some some doors some storm doors because i want screen doors on the uh, back of the thing. So I, I had to go, I had to call the people to come and they're going to come and do my screen doors. And then, you know, it's time for me to get my contacts again. So I went up there to, uh, 
I went up there to American Best, okay, uh, to go get my contacts. And, um, you know, I, 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 I went up in there and I was like, can I get my contacts all in the same day with some glasses and all that kind of stuff? Cause you know, these are only for 30 days. Okay. So after that, you got to order some more. Right. So they was like, yeah. So they got my prescription, went up in there. I didn't know picking out glasses was so difficult and hard. Chada, you got to pick out the frame. Then you got to decide if you want some tint on the glasses. Then do you want the glasses that turn dark when you walk outside and then all of a sudden become light when you come in? Do you want the reading glasses that's like this? And then in my prescription, I got some bifocals if I get, you know, like regular glasses. So they got this thing. My glasses was two sets of glasses for a hundred dollars. And then uh, they put the prescription in the glasses and then you get one for reading and one for every day. You know, it was just like a task. You know, I didn't know glasses could be that difficult. You know, I'm used to going to Walmart, picking up the nine dollar nine nine cent pair. We call it a day. We got to talk about colors. We got to talk about lenses. We got to talk about do you want the plexiglass or do you want the thick glass? I mean, I was like, I. I I, I was not prepared. I was not prepared for all this. I didn't know it was going to be like this. And so I'm like, what about the contacts? Can I get my contacts today? Because after a while, these contacts start itching. You know, they start, you know, getting stuff in them and stuff you got to throw them away. They dispose. So I order my contacts and she's like, well, honey, who you want? What color eyes you want today? You know, because I try a different color every month. Okay. I don't know if y'all notice that or whatever. You know, hey. Talk about me if you want to, okay? But I started off with the hazel, then I did the pure honey, and then uh, this time I start. I thought I, I would get a little creative and get the little gray or whatever. That's a little gray child. But next month, honey, I'm gonna be uh 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 blue. We going with blue eyes next month. Show sure is. Uh huh. They'll be here this week. Show sure is. We're gonna have blue eyes next month. Y'all can talk about me again. Um, but the contacts will be here next this week sometime. Uh, what else? Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fool around out there in that yard. Uh, the pool man coming here uh, next week. He gonna clean out the pool, get the pool ready for the kids. Cause guys, it was seventy degrees out here in uh in uh Georgia, and my nephews are calling. They tell my auntie, you said you was coming to pick us up. When you coming to pick us up? And I said, when y'all get out of school. So I'm thinking school is going to be like in the summertime, right? Child, huh, man, my nephews don't call me, talking about auntie, we out of school. I said, what y'all out of school for? He talking about Mardi Gras. I said, Mardi Gras, who in the world is giving y'all a week to be out of school for Mardi Gras? We got the coronavirus going on. Y'all need to be in school. We don't been, we don't have enough of other kids being out of school. Kill some Mardi Gras. We don't need no Mardi Gras for them to be out for a week. They tell my auntie, come pick me up. We gonna come out there and stay with you for a week because uh, uh, we we out for Mardi Gras. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. I, I'm not going uh, to uh, pick them up for no Mardi Gras. I thought they was going to be like, you know, I'm buying me some time. I'm like the summer. You know what I'm saying? Them kids say they is out for a week for Mardi Gras. So the, the pool people be here next week to do the pool. Then we got, I got the patio deck to do. Then I got, uh, I got the beds. Okay. And that's just the first flow. We ain't did the second flow. Okay. Uh, we gotta go. I gotta go upstairs and get carpet for the second floor. I am going to take, um, the video and try to do a live feed tomorrow since they did fix my internet and do a tour of the first floor okay um you know i got a dinette set here somehow they gave me the dinette set that was in the box they didn't give me you know the dinette set off the floor so i don't know who finna put this huge dinette set together but uh it ain't gonna be me Okay. And then when I went to go to the uh to the uh get the doors, so I'm calling around. I'm calling around asking people, child, it's something trying to get folks to do stuff for you, honey. 
how I call the doors people. So, you know, when you're going to look for screen doors, you're looking for who can put some screen doors on. So I searched, I did a Google search, screen doors installation near me, right? So I'm calling these companies, girl, listen, they going to tell me, um, ma'am, uh, how many doors you need? I said four. They talking about where you at? I said over here. They talking about uh, is this residential? I said yeah. They said we don't usually come out and do no photos for no residential. I said well who do that? She said well ma'am that's not something hard that that you gotta do. So what you trying to say? I'm a dummy. I'm stupid. I can't put up a door. Okay. I said well who do that then? She said, you need you a handyman. I said, where you get them at? Where, where you find them? Where you get them? So I need to look for handyman. Child, she said, you need your handyman. I said, oh, okay. She said, because if we come out there and put up them doors, honey, we don't come out there less than $400, $500 a dough. I said, oh, I don't need y'all. I need the handyman. You got, you know, the handyman? Well, who Y'all got some references or something of the handyman? And he going to do all this? And say, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I've i been going on Craigslist or, or Angie's list or somebody's list, okay? Looking for the handyman, okay? I need a handyman that do everything. I need them to put blinds up. I need a handyman to put dinette tables together. I need a handyman to put the screen doors up. I need a handyman to paint the garage. I need a handyman to, I need a living handyman. Huh, Ripley? We need a 24 7 hand. I'm just going to make a list. I need my doorbell fixed. I need carpet on the upstairs. I need child. Now, when I find this all-in-one handyman, so I got some people coming on Monday, right? So they're going to come. They're going to put the doors up. We're going to talk about some other stuff. Uh, handyman, I need, you know, how much is the handyman? $50 an hour? Uh, handyman. I need a handyman. This man going to have to be able to do everything. I want some... uh. I need a lot of stuff. Can it do counters? I need some my counters redone, carpet, doorbell, surveillance system, security alarm. I need a couple more TVs hung. Uh, handyman, child. I know some people. The only thing is, Kadarius, is you got people that say they going to do something, but they don't do it. You know, I got, I hired these people to do my floors. Y'all see my floors? See that? Did the whole kitchen. The, the thing, they have did, have did it the way they were supposed to do it. They ain't finished in the larger room, okay? The other thing is, uh, they and they were supposed to paint. I got little marks around the little paint thing. And then I fed them jokers Gatorade, Hawaiian Punch, water, and, and gave them stuff out of my refrigerator. How about they got the Gatorade, the sodas, and the drink bottles and stuff on the back porch and in my garage, and they didn't clean up? How you going to do somebody like that? Pick up after yourself. Get the wood and stuff up. Put it in the trash. Take it out there. Don't just leave stuff all around here. That just irritates me. And then they tell me uh, we're going to be there first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning to me is 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's knock it out. Okay? First thing in the morning is not 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Child, you know how we do. I, I, I hate to talk about us, but you know how we do. Okay? You try to give folks the business. They want a little business. They want to be independent. How, uh, how in the world I got to pay you through cash out? What kind of business you run and I got to pay you through cash out? How you pay somebody $2,000 through cash out? How you do that? What business? Any business you deal with, you ain't got no business bank account. Y'all don't take credit cards. Huh? Oh, you know. Y'all don't come out and, and do the business and, and, and I get an invoice. You give me an invoice 
and uh, we make a credit card payment and, you know, we're going about our business. Who say can you do 500 on the cash app at 7 o'clock at night? Who do that? And you want to call yourself a professional, a business person, and you mad because, you know, you can't compete or you can't, you know, you're not getting the business like everybody else. Because you your accounting system is the cash app system. That ain't no accounting system. You know, I'm trying to give people a chance, give them an opportunity, you know, to come in and, 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 and do they think. Because one thing, one thing um, you can, one thing about me is if I like your business, you do a great job for me. I'm going to tell everybody. Okay, not everybody, everybody. Okay, but if you don't do a good job for me, I'm not gonna speak about you ever. I'm not gonna dog your company out, but uh, don't tell them that you did not for me. Okay, this could have been something like when people come here, who oh, girl, who did your floors? Girl, you got to contact what's name? Girl, he came in here and knocked these floors out in no time, honey, and he did this and he did that and all this kind of stuff. No, we ain't talking about him. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Why I got little paint paint stuff on the side of my, my stuff. And you ain't supposed to say nothing. You just supposed to live with it. Who do that? When you come to work, you supposed to have your people there. Okay. You name your price. I agree to your price. It, it, what time y'all gonna be here? Oh, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be there bright and early. Bright and early ain't one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't I don't know what kind of bright and early that is. Okay, how long is this gonna take? Oh, two days. We're gonna be in two days, in and out. We're gonna be gone. How two days get to be a whole week? Uh, I can't, huh? Nah. Don't worry about me. Take your little money and go on about your business. And we don't ever, 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 ever have to do business again. You know what I'm saying? I'm a person that could have promoted your business, could have told people about you, it could have. Again, gave you more business. Don't try to get over on me, baby, because you ain't doing nothing but getting over on your own self. That's why you're struggling trying to get the cash app money, asking people to pay you $500 in parts, okay? So, you know, the way my bank account is set up, okay, the, the way my bank account is set up is like, uh, I just can't send you money out of my business bank account like that. If I send you, okay, let's try to do this, uh, okay, uh, uh, $500 cash app. My bank say, hell no, you ain't sending them nothing. My bank say, you can't send them no money. I'm like, why well, can't send them no money? Uh-uh, this is suspicious activity. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. Jesus, my people. So I said, do you got a Zelle or something? Can we work with that? Do you got a business bank account? Because uh, Wells Fargo, we do direct pay. You can pay your contractor directly if they ain't got no credit card payment set up system or whatever the case may be. You can do it directly. So I said, what about the Zelle? Yeah, I got a Zelle, but you're going to have to put such and such no name in for the Zelle. Who was such and such? I'm dealing with you. Who is this person? Ain't the same people. So now you got me trying to send me some money through my business bank account to such and such. Well, Fargo said again, I do not recommend you send these people no money. Not this way. Do you know who these people are? <laughs> I kid you not. Well, Fargo said, well, Fargo said, uh, suspicious activity. I said, man, listen, I can't send the money on no cash app. I can't send it through no Zelle. I don't know what we finna do here. Okay, because I, 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 I ain't never worked like this. I, I don't work like this. I don't split payments up. I don't pay over here. I don't pay over there. And I, 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 I will tell you one thing that you will not get. I usually pay half, you know, once they get through with half of it and then the other half after you finish the work but if when you don't if you don't finish what you say you're gonna do you're not gonna get the other half okay we just gonna have to you know we just gonna have to plead it out in the court system okay i'm missing paint where my paint at where my gold paint at you know i done spent twenty dollars on a little thing a gold paint that i wanted to do my bathroom at 
It ain't here. I've been looking for the paint for three days. I can't find it. Okay. I done brought the paint. I done brought all the paint. I done brought all the supplies. Okay. So, you know, I'm a little bit weary about what people say that they're going to do. So that's why I tried to call the professionals and the people, but the professionals don't even want to do They tell my photos. Baby, you ain't got no, no nails or no screwdriver. Or nothing. That ain't nothing you call us for. I'm like, who I call in? I said, can somebody come put up some blinds for me? Who? <laughs> Child, it's a trip. You hear me? When you dealing with folks, it is hilarious. But, huh? Now, let me tell you something. I, I know what to do. I know too many people. I know too many people that I ain't got to do nothing but have some food and something to drink, and we're going to get it popping. <laughs> we're going to get it popping around here. <laughs> oh, man. This place going to look like the best resort you done ever seen in your life, child. All you got to do is throw a little fish fry, put some meat on the grill, give somebody a nice place to stay and, 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 and swim. Child. Ah, uh, damn, we about to get some work done. You hear me? <laughs> All right, guys, it's an hour and 30 minutes. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. Faith over fear. And I will talk to you later. Bye.